Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will be solving exercise 6.32. Let's see the question, exercise 6.32. Solve the problem in example 6.12. With the voltage feeding the base change to plus 10 volt. This was the uh, exam, uh, example 6.12 where the voltage feeding the base was plus 5 volt. Now it is changed to plus 10 volt. So let's do that. So this is changed now. Assume that beta minimum is 30 and we have to find VE, VB, IC1, IC2. Now, since this is 10 volt, uh, we have already uh, discussed earlier that positive voltage here will make Q2 off. So Q1 is conducting. And so we draw the circuit separately here as we have done in the previous example as well. And now we can write the base equation. VBB is equal to IBRB plus VBE and IERE. And moving, assuming that it is in active mode, we can use this formula. And so replace IB as we did in the previous example also. So replacing IB by IE beta plus 1, putting all the values, we calculate IE to be 7.3 milliampere. Now, since IE is 7.3 milliampere, therefore VE will be IE RE and it will be 7.03 volt. So VE is 7.03 volt. Now, how much is VCE? Look from here. This is 5 volt. This is 7.3, so VCE will be VC minus VE, 5 minus 7.3 is equal to minus 2.03. Now, let's see this, we had discussed earlier also, that for a transistor to be in active mode, VC has to be greater than 0.3 volt. Now, in our case, VC is in negative. Therefore, our assumption that the transistor is in active region is wrong. And therefore, all these calculations that we have done is wrong. The transistor is in saturation mode because of the negative voltage. This negative voltage. So since our assumption of active mode was incorrect, hence IE and VE calculations are incorrect that we did here. Okay, so we had concluded that the transistor is in saturation mode. And from here you can see, we can find VE by VCC minus VCE saturation. Now, how much is VCE saturation? We had again read earlier that for active mode, VC has to be greater than 3. And for saturation mode, VC or the edge of saturation, uh, VC will be approximately equal to minus 2 volt. So we'll write minus 2 here, uh, sorry, as 0.2. So it is 0.2. And now from here, VE is VC C minus VC saturation, 5 minus 0 0.2, so VE is 4.8 volt. So this voltage here, VE is 4.8 volt. Now once we know VE, we can find IE, which is VE over RE, VE over RE, which then IE is 4.8 milliampere. The next is to find VB. VB is VBE plus VE or VBE plus IERE, same thing. So VB 
VE plus 0.7, VE is 4.8 and VBE is 0.7 that means VB is 5.5 so we have found VB. Now we need to find the currents. First of all IB if you look from the circuit 10 volt minus this voltage VB divided by this resistor so VBB minus VB divided by RPB 10 minus 5.5 which uh, VB, VBB and divided by RB so the answer is 0 0.45 milliampere now we know I therefore we can find IC saturation or IC1 which is actually IC saturation will be IE minus IB so IE minus IB will give IC or IC is IE minus IB so writing the value IC saturation is 4.35 milliampere now this is for transistor number 1 now since transistor 2 is off therefore IC2 will be 0 so you can see we have found all the answers here uh, VE 4.8 VBB previous slide we found 5.5 current 4.3 milliampere and the other current IC2 is 0. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.